100 additional women are now suing Sharp Grossmont Hospital, saying that they were recorded with hidden cameras without their consent. And that brings the total to nearly 200 women suing the hospital. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusen first broke the story about the most recent lawsuits, and it seems that this story has struck a nerve with women across San Diego County. Adam? Yeah, and I've been told for some of these women, the first time they even heard about these hidden cameras was when they saw it right here on the news. They didn't hear it from the hospital. In total, 181 women have sued the most recent filing just this afternoon. We've heard from some of those women. Now we're hearing from a doctor who worked at Sharp Grossmont during that time the cameras were recording and says he warned against it. Dr. Patrick Sullivan says officials at Sharp retaliated against him after he raised concerns about the hidden cameras. Sullivan claims officials ignored him, so he told his colleagues to put tape over the cameras for the protection of patients. He even filed his own employment lawsuit against the hospital in 2017. Sullivan tells me he remembers the first time he saw one of those hidden cameras. He says he was inputting medical record data, staring at the monitor, and it looked like the lens was staring right back at him. I went to Lily Pesenia, who was the director of the Women's Center, and I said, um, you're not filming uh, with secret hidden cameras in the operating room, are you? Because if you are, I think that you're going to capture patients uh, in the background. She just said, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. And a spokesperson for Sharp didn't comment on Sullivan's claims, but pointed me to this statement, which is pretty similar to what they sent us about two weeks ago. It explains why the cameras were in three operating rooms and what they captured. Now, late last week, the head of Sharp Healthcare issued this letter to the community saying, quote, we sincerely apologize that our efforts may have caused any distress to the women who were recorded, their families, and others we serve. We'll continue to follow this story. Adam Rakusen, Team 10.